Hi, viewers, welcome to our Genius Insight channel. The very thought of being infected with a parasite is a pretty gross and disturbing idea. A living entity roaming around inside of you, feeding off of you. Yet this nightmarish scenario is a reality for many people and animals around the world. Today, we are going to discuss a common parasite being which is called tapeworm. So, let's discuss first. What is a tapeworm? Before we start, please press the like button and subscribe to our channel. Please watch the video completely to know whether you're infected with it and what should be done. Number 1. What is a tapeworm? Tapeworms are a type of parasite that lives in the intestines of animals. They have a head, neck, and many body segments called problitids. They lay eggs, which then hatch into larvae before maturing into an adult tapeworm. Number 2. Reasons for getting affected with Humans can become infected by eating eggs or larvae in contaminated water or meat. The infection in humans is usually easily treated, but sometimes it can cause serious problems. If you consume tapeworm larvae, they can develop into adult tapeworms in the intestines. They attach to the wall of the intestine with suckers or hooks and remain there to feed and grow. An adult tapeworm can be very long and live in the intestine for many years. They can also sometimes move to other parts of your body, such as your muscles, eyes, or brain. Cysts form in these areas and can cause serious problems. This is called cystozercosis or neurocystozercosis. Number 3. What are the symptoms? Your symptoms may vary depending on the type of tapeworm you're infected with. Asian tapeworm, beef tapeworm, pork tapeworm. Humans infected with one of the different species of tapeworms in the Tinea family, which is called Teniasis, may experience no signs or symptoms, or only mild symptoms. The beef tapeworm is the largest of these parasites. It can grow to over 30 feet long, so symptoms might be more noticeable when infected. Symptoms of teniasis may include abdominal pain, lack of appetite, passing tapeworm parts in stool, weight loss, upset stomach, dwarf tapeworm, most infections with the dwarf tapeworm won't cause symptoms, but when they do occur, there can be abdominal pain, diarrhea, loss of appetite, nausea, weakness. Children who are infected may also experience anal itching, headache, sleep disturbances, fish or broad tapeworm. Most symptoms are mild, but can include abdominal pain, diarrhea, fatigue, loss of appetite, weakness, weight loss. Number 4. Treatments. Treating tapeworm larvae infection is more complicated than treating an adult tapeworm infection. While the adult tapeworm stays in the gut, the larvae may settle in other parts of the body. When a larvae infection finally produces symptoms, the infection may have been present for years. In some rare cases, larvae infection can be life-threatening. Here are some treatments as follows. 1. Oral medications. Oral medications may be prescribed. The digestive system does not absorb these drugs well. They either dissolve or attack and kill the adult tapeworm. A doctor may advise the patient to take a laxative to help the tapeworm come out in the stools. If the patient has a pork tapeworm infection, they may be given an antiemetic medication, which prevents vomiting. Vomiting during a tapeworm infection can lead to reinfection by swallowing the tapeworm larvae. The patient's stools will be checked several times one to three months after the course of medication. These medications, if procedures are followed properly, are 95% effective. 2. Anti-inflammatory medication. If the infection affects tissues outside the intestine, the patient may have to take a course of anti-inflammatory steroids to reduce swelling caused by the development of cysts. 3. Cyst Surgery If the patient has life-threatening cysts that have developed in vital organs, such as the lungs or liver, surgery may be required. The doctor may inject a cyst with medication, such as formalin, to destroy the larvae before removing the cyst. Number 5. Can tapeworm infection be prevented? You can reduce your risk of tapeworm infection by You should also practice food safety 1. Avoid raw fish and meat 
2. Thoroughly cook meat to temperatures of at least 145 degrees Fahrenheit, 62.8 degrees Celsius, for whole cuts of meat and 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius, for ground meat and poultry. 3. Let cooked meat rest for 3 minutes before carving or consuming. 4. Freeze fish or meat to minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 degrees Celsius, for at least 24 hours. 5. Wash, peel, or cook all raw fruits and vegetables. 6. Wash or reheat any food that falls on the floor. If you're visiting developing countries, cook fruits and vegetables with boiled or purified water before eating, and avoid contact with soil that may be contaminated with human feces. That's it for now. Hope this bunch of information will be helpful to you very much. Though it might be some simple steps that can help you get through. But if you notice chronic changes in your bowel habits, request an appointment with your doctor to further diagnose and treat gastrointestinal issues you might be facing. If you have any other opinions about this video content, please write them down in the comment box. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new video notification.